They want us to graph the, this function g of x given the base function of the log of x. So what's log of x look like? Yeah. Okay. Because this you have to know. What's the log of x? I should have made this a different color. What does the log of x function look like? Do you remember what log is? It's the it's the reciprocal of the exponential. So your exponential function, 10 to the x would have done this. So log of x, remember that you've got this line y equals x right here. Log of x goes through, instead of going through 0, 1, it goes through 1, 0. And instead of approaching 0 as, as x gets smaller, it approaches 0 on the, the, the x value approaches 0 as y gets smaller. Okay, so it's flipped like that. So there's your base graph for the log of x. There's a video. You can watch the video where I explain that in further detail, but you, I'm not going to bore you with that now. All right, so let's take that function, and let's use, let's use the rule of transformation again. What does this right here do to your graph? It's going to the left three. Uh-huh. It goes left two. three. And down two. And this one brings it down Two. So take, I like to call this my handle, because that's easy for me to see. One, zero. And I'm going left three, one, two, three, and down two, one, two. So my new point is negative two, comma, negative two. Oh. And now what's my new asymptote? Where did my asymptote shift? My asymptote shifted left three as well. So instead of being at zero, at x equals zero, my asymptote is right there. So my asymptote is y equals negative three, because I shifted it left three. And my graph looks like something like that.